Now, the Spirit speaketh expressively that in the latter days and also in the latter times some will depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. That is the word of God in the book of First Timothy 4 verse 1 to uh, 1 to 2. I was just reading. So today I am your host again, Sister Evangelist Atel. I'm bringing to you again the good news. Jesus Christ died for our sin. That is the truth. Amen. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And he has been risen again from the dead. He is now alive, seated at the right of God the Father, coming back to take the church. That is the truth of the gospel. Amen. I know that the Bible says that uh, in the book of 2 Timothy, that Jambres and this thing, they resist the truth of God. So I hope that you don't resist that, resist that truth today. So today I'm talking about the lying spirit that strong man called the lying spirit and that demon have a different spirit that is also joined together with him or they are also you can say laser demons which are also together with this lying spirit that strong man today we have to have victory victory over him so i'm bringing to you this topic because you can also be like oh okay i speak small uh, small lies there i speak uh, white lies there i speak black lies there little here and there you don't know that before you notice it you start going deep and deep and deep into it start going to different different things like uh, deception you go to flattering you go to because this the the, the bible jesus christ called satan himself that he is the liar and the father of life and the the bible says that jesus christ came he is the only truth and he came to reveal the truth of the father and come to destroy also the works of the devil the bible says the thief come to steal kill and to destroy and this lying spirit is also connected with the stealing spirit because people they you see more the bible says the satan is the liar and the father of life that's why the lord jesus christ himself said so amen it's not all so this strong man the bible said how can one enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods in the book of matthew 12 29 except you first bind that strong man and then you can spoil his house so matthew 18 18 tell, told us how that whatever we bind on earth it is bound in heaven amen in the name of the lord jesus you will see the whole bible pokey writing in the letters in the Ephesians everywhere say we should not lie to one another because he knows that we are now new creation we cannot be lying to each other the bible even continues to say that 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 uh, strong man called the 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 false prophet or call the the antichrist spirit or call that uh that lying spirit the liars they say they will be cast into the pit of fire that's what the bible says in the book of revelation they will be all cast in the pit of fire amen in the name of the lord jesus so today we have to start to renounce lie because they say all the liars cannot inherit the kingdom of god amen lying blaspheming and cursing and all that because the devil have one to manifest he said that strong man want to use a human body to manifest itself through that person you know because if you see for example somebody who um have a spirit of perversion you will see that from the eyes and the look and everything and will be going everywhere that spirit will be man will be showing himself through that person through the eye or through the love so now this lying spirit manifests itself through the mouth or through the tongue there was one time that i had one ethiopian friend like that will came to buy stuff for me you know and uh, it's a long time ago so i was praying about it because when she came to give me different story and when she was coming to my house she brought to so many people again and different story so i just pray about it and ask the lord to see, like what is going on and the lord showed me a vision and showed me this this woman with this my ethiopian friend with a, a different mouth like something was attached to her mouth with a different mouth and different tongue and the lord told me that is a lying spirit so she's a liar she have the spirit of lying so do you see so that spirit manifests through that so that spirit is together with lies deceit flattering you know so the bible says that god is not a man that should lie he said let god be true and every man be a liar amen 
So, um, you will see God will even say, I will not lie to David. Amen. So, there are many situations today, even in the church, people speak small uh, white lies here, small uh, black lies there, you know, or here and there. And this spirit called the strong man, that strong, strong man called the lying spirit. He has a lot of demons that are together with him. There is one of the demons, there are false prophets. You know, you will see false prophets. The book called Second Peter uh, 1 3 is talking about the false prophets. Amen. That there are many false prophets in the last day. The Bible says, even in the book of Matthew 24 11, say that in the last day there will be so many false prophets. It's false cries that will even be deceiving people. If you don't even be careful, even the very elect will be deceived. Amen. God showed me that, told me that in Finland also. So I was doing my mission work. So there will be a lot of false Christ, false prophet. Amen. The Bible speak again also that there are doctrines of devil. I just read to you doctrines of devils, you know, speaking lies in hypocrisy. That is a uh, first Timothy four. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, seducing spirits are now in the church, which are called these false prophet. That is one of the, the, the demons who is also now attached to the church with these false demons. They say evil men and seducers in the book of second timothy 3 13 say evil men and seducers they shall wax worse amen and also they will be deceiving and being also deceived so there's another demon that also is also together with this with this demon this strong man called slandering or you can call it another one is false accusation you know there another one they call it false prophecy you know the, the religious bondage because religion anyway is a lie because you see how many kind of religion it is cream white religion all over the world today it is a spirit of lie that is behind it and satan is the father of it amen as jesus christ said father satan is the liar and the father of lies amen in the name of the lord jesus christ so there, there will, if you read the book of um first chronicle 18 20 you will hear how he was talking about uh god was god sent somebody to talk to ahab you know with one other king like that the Assyrian king but when the prophets they came to prophesy they were they, they were all telling lies they were false prophet lying to to this ahab so since as they were believing the lie anyway they sent the right prophet now to come and speak the real prophecy they refused they rejected they say ah they don't like this guy because this guy always come and uh, say uh say the truth so they now the the bible says that in the second chronicle they say i will go out this uh, say i will go out and also be a lying spirit in the mouth of all the prophets so all the prophets they were lying and then the lord said that you shall entice them uh, thou shalt entice them and thou shalt also prevail so go out even now therefore uh, behold the lord has now put a lying spirit in the mouth of all those prophets and the lord has spoken evil against them because they were not even accepting the truth you know god is not the one like an author of confusion who said like they were not accepting the truth you know so then then they they, they, they accept the lie which they, they they wanted to hear things that they wanted to hear the bible says that uh, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. There is no other, the Bible says that God is ultimate truth. Amen. The Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, they are true. They want us to know the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, the Bible says that, um, in the, Jesus Christ says that, you are he was talking to the 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 all the the the, the people who are the, the israelis who were not believing him he said you are like your father the devil the loss of your father you like to do and he was a murderer from the beginning and about not in the truth because there is no truth in him when he speak he speak a lie he speak of his own for he is a liar and a father of it the book of john 8 44. The, the, jesus christ the son of god say the devil is a liar amen in the name of Jesus, and the father of lies so what is really a lie 
lying or lied or lied to you know it is like to make an untrue statement you know in the intent to deceive to create a false leading or impression the bible says even in the garden that the devil begued adam and eve in the garden to eat of the uh, forbidden fruit you know so they lied he lied to them from so that was when this lying came in into the human race so the devil tricked them you can say so lying is a kind of tricking you know or, or kind of a deceit he fooled them deception so they were deceived and the devil so still does, does that up to now with the human race even up to this time so it is something that is not true because god told them that they can eat of all the fruits in the garden but they should not eat of the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil but the devil told them that no god does not want you to know the truth so they decided now to eat that fruit and they were disconnected with god forever so they they they, they. so this 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 Sit uh, uh thing you can say this lying spirit this strong man he has so many demons that are attached that are to him. one of them is gossip you know one of them is gossip for example to uh, the bible they, they say yes here then the lying spirit it involves like uh, old tail lies, you know, some people call it white lies, the, the well, good, some say black lies, all kind of lies, superstition, gossip, backbiting, false prophets uh, and false teachers, they are all under that uh, the delusion, strong delusion, the Bible said there will be a strong delusion so that they will believe a lie, the book of, uh, the, I think uh, Thessalonians was talking that deception, you know, lies of course, so you there are so many superstition so many things you see so many countries have a lot of superstition which is all created by the devil amen to put people into confusion but um the bible was talking here that gossip is also one of something that god like hates so let me read this book the book of proverbs 6 uh, 16 to 19 says that there are six things that the lord hates seven that are one of which are distinguishable to him is haughty eye lying tongue a hand that shed blood uh, also a heart that is devise wicked scheme feet also that are quick to rush into evil a false witness which you know which is telling lies or who uh, also a false witness who also pour out lies a person who also stir up conflict those are the things that god hates and a lying to even the bible says the liars all the liars will be cast into the prison so gossiping uh, is also is a is also a, a a family demon to this strong man called the lying spirit so gossiping and backbiting is the same the tongue of the bible the, the book of james talk a lot about that tongue of lying he said the tongue is like a fire the wall of iniquity the tongue no one no man can tame so the tongue is horrible so when you 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 backbite somebody as paul was calling it in the book of romans uh, 1 13 uh no romans uh, 1 uh, 30 he said anyone of you know who is lying we have that form it, you, you can hurt somebody you can ruin something you can destroy inno, innocent victim who are who are not even present who cannot even defend themselves so this lying and gossiping and backbiting and giving false weakness god hates it so badly because all this originated from the devil so the spirit that spirit that trauma of lying if you start to start small small lies small small deceit here small stuff here small that before you notice it this spirit will overtake you before you discover it so many things will be coming up in your life you know with gossip and lying and all kind of stuff you know the bible says in the book of matthew 12 20, uh, 36 that every idle word that a man will speak they shall give account of it in the day of judgment so gossip is, is a is a character flow is horrible gossiping lying you know all gossipers and uh, and uh, all this lying vanity false prophet they are all in that same category which god says that he hates the bible says in book of second peter 
uh, two, one to two, he said, but they shall, there will be false witness will be among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you who also privately shall bring in damnation, damnable uh, heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them, and also bring upon themselves swift destruction, and many shall also follow their own, pre, their own uh, penurious ways in the last days deceiving the bible even called them deceiving this stuff that is happening now in the last days deception and delusion they say they'll be deceiving and also deceiving also themselves amen so we have to stand fast and hold the bible says stand fast and hold the tradition which you have been taught where by words or by episode second uh, Thessalonians 2 was saying so we have to stand fast and not to lie to each other because these doctrines of devils are sleeping into the churches today everywhere this lying spirit you know you will see people are going to all kind of uh, night vigil all kind of meeting all kind of stuff this lying spirit is lying to them you even see situation where people are sick they have stuff like the kind of sickness but this lying spirit will come and lie to them and say oh god cannot heal you god cannot take that sickness on you when the bible is saying the truth the bible says let god be true and let every man be a liar amen in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ so we have to be very very careful and know that God is the truth amen the spirit of truth Jesus Christ the, the God is the one that has the spirit of truth the Holy Spirit is a spirit of truth God's spirit will always speak in line with his word amen you will see the prophet of God will always prophesy with the word of God and God's prophets always are always 100% right with their prophecy another thing I want to say, say is that you will see that anytime there is a good prophecy a right prophecy Jesus name will be glorified if all these things are not added to, together you know that there's something wrong with it he said that even uh, Jesus Christ he said, said when he the spirit of truth shall come he will guide you unto all truth for he shall also not speak of himself but whatsoever he shall hear that shall he speak and he will also show you the things to come he shall also glorify me for he shall also receive our mind and show it unto you the book of John 13 John 16 13 to 14 is talking about the Holy Spirit the spirit of truth so we are going to ask God for forgiveness and tell God to forgive us amen in the name of the Lord Jesus for all the lies that the devil have lied unto us and we ourselves lied and deceiving other people you know in in our life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ glory be to God amen in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ the Bible says it's impossible for God to lie you know liars will always walk in darkness the book of first John 1 uh, 6 says liars will walk in darkness and also the liars that will be placed in the lake of fire amen so do you teach lies have you eaten the fruit of lies you know the bible said the devil is a liar and the father of all lies so lies come only from the devil amen so we have to reject the, the devil the uh, the book of romans 125 says satan has changed the truth of god into a lie so we have to be careful of the devil uh, mislead so that he doesn't deceive us mislead us like how he begue adam and eve in jesus name we are now new creation we have to stay in the word of God because the word of God is spirit and life and the word of God is truth amen nothing bear the truth so there's so much deception today in the last day things that are untrue in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ so we have to be careful so much flattering so much framing of false prophets so much vanity going on in the last days you know pretending little lies here little lies white lies some they say no it's just white lies they say white lies does not hurt anybody yes it does you know let every Everything be true true you know so we have to be some people are deliberate liars who just lie continuously and you know then deceit and uh, deception is going on in the church today you know this is all a form of pride and ego and vanity falseness is going on in the church today cheating and lying is going on this honesty in the church and in the body of christ today we have to take ourselves out the bible say anyone that will see the the heaven you know you have to you have to be holy amen you have to take remove yourself out of all that iniquity in the name of the lord jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah
Glory be to God forever in Jesus' name. So today, let us uh, let us uh, now repent in the name of Jesus. So you can pray with me in Jesus' name and and say this. If you have not given your life to Jesus, the Bible says that um, Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus Christ showed me a vision last week, two times the same vision, told me to tell the people and say, except a man be born again, you cannot see and you cannot enter the kingdom of God. So if you are not born again, you have to repent of your sin. Ask Jesus to be your Lord and Savior in Jesus' name and say, Father, forgive me of my sin. In the name of Jesus Christ, be my Lord and Savior in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. And look for a good church to baptize you in the water. It is also part of salvation in Jesus' name. And take your new covenant Bible and start to read so that you can renew your mind as a new creation man. So today, let us, all of us who are listening this uh, audio today, pray this prayer with me. Say, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I want to be like you. You are not a liar. I want the truth of Jesus Christ to be in me. I repent for being a liar in the name of Jesus. To be a, dece a deceitful person, being a cheat and dishonest. Father, forgive me for being a flattering person, flattering people, giving false appearance, having pride and ego and vanity, being false and faithless, pretending to others pretending to order something that I am not tell the Lord that says sorry father forgive me for all the for my uh, falseness of dress and thoughts and action help me to be what you want me to be in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I want to be a natural person not a false person in the name of Jesus Christ show me my false false personality in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and also help me today in Jesus that I repent in the name of the Lord Jesus Lord Jesus be my Lord and my Savior in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So today I'm going to call out some demons in the name of Jesus Christ and I command our demons to live and you also tell them to live in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are making now, I'm doing now a, a mass deliverance in Jesus name and I'm calling all those demons to get out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So Father, your word says that whatever we bind on earth according to Matthew 18, 18 shall be bound in heaven. So therefore in that strong man called the spirit that lies Spirit, I command that strong man over the people to be bound right now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And then I now, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I release the spirit of truth now for them to know the truth in Jesus' name. And I command all the subordinate demons, the family, if I call your name, you demon under that family, I command you to live right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I leave the people in Jesus Christ's mighty name. So therefore, I command you in the name of Jesus, any spirit of trickery, any trickery spirit, live right now in the name of Jesus. Any spirit of delusion, get Get out in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Any spirit of flattering, I command you be bound and be cast out in Jesus' name. Ego and vanity, get out now in the mighty name of Jesus. Spirit of rejection, lose your powers, get out now in Jesus' name. Flying spirit, lies, any kind of lies, get out in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All you false prophets, false teaching, lose your powers, get out now in Jesus' name. Inferiority complex, get out in Jesus' name. Spirit of greed, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, lose your powers in the name of Jesus. Any spirit of love, love of money, love of the eye, loss of the flesh, lose your powers. Get out now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Or now, any spirit of pretending, get out now in Jesus' name. Spirit of cheating, lose your powers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any spirit of black lies, uh, white lies, I command you be bound and be cast out now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Any spirit of uh, counterfeit spirit lose your grip now in jesus christ mighty name self-deception get out now in jesus name spirit of fear i come out because people always lie because they want they are afraid they steal something then they lie so you spirit of fear and stealing get out now i bind you that strong man get out now in the name of the lord jesus lose your power get out in jesus name. all the spirit of false religion false doctrine doctrines of the devil seducing spirit i command all of you to get out now bind you 
you, cast you out. Go, go, go. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, lose your grip, lose your power. Jesus Christ came to destroy the works of the devil. In the name of Jesus, these people have repented for their sin. So I command you to go. Any spirit of gossip, get out in the name of Jesus. Any spirit of a scorner, and get out in Jesus' name. Spirit of hypocrisy, lose your grip. Get out now in Jesus' name. Any spirit of the guilt and shame, go in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Deceit, spirit of deceit, get out now in Jesus Christ's name. I command any flattering spirit, get out. Dishonesty, deception, lose your grip. Get out, all of you. I command all of you to get out now in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, bind all those spirits that have called and then all the families that are under the spirit of life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command them all to go and let them never come back again forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, we close the door with the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Father, we ask you for to forgive us for all our sins as we have asked you for slandering, for gossiping, for accusation, for anything that we have done in the past. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, in Jesus name, remove that evil spirit from us. In Jesus name, fill us with your truth to know the truth. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in your word, Father, in Jesus name, I pray for healing and deliverance for everyone who listen to these script, this, uh, scriptures today. In Jesus name, and who have repented to know that the lying is the dangerous for the Lord in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, I pray that you heal them. I pray that you deliver them. I pray that you, you restore them all what they have lost through life in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I give you all the glory, Father, now and forever in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We have. I release the spirit of truth. I cover everyone with the blood of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus. I will see you in Jesus' name in the next audio or in the next video in Jesus Christ mighty and powerful name have a nice sunday brothers and sisters in the lord god bless you in jesus christ mighty name amen